The U.S. Taliban peace deal is on a fragile footing. Violence, differences between the parties and the divisions between politicians could make the deal worthless. Earlier this week, when the reports of the violence in Helmand trickled in, a spokesperson for the U.S. forces in Afghanistan had this to say. They blamed the Taliban for breaking the promise to maintain peace in Afghanistan. The Taliban rammed up violence against the Afghan security forces despite U.S. President Donald Trump's calls for peace. The political chaos is also not helping. Afghan President Ashraf Ghani stakes claim to the presidency, but his challenger, Abdullah Abdullah, has rejected the electoral results. On the other side, the Taliban does not even recognize the legitimacy of the Afghan government. These differences make the peace negotiations more tricky. America is committed to withdraw troops from Afghanistan, but as the events are playing out on the ground, it looks like the U.S. still has a long way to go before it can exit the Afghanistan quagmire. There are several hurdles on this path to peace. And this is where the flaws of the America and Taliban peace deal begin to show. The agreement did not include the Afghanistan government led by Ashraf Ghani. At the same time, the U.S. gave the Taliban an upper hand in a way by conducting a one-way negotiation. The ambiguity in the agreement also does not help. If the parties involved want to ensure peace in Afghanistan, a lot of it depends on the difficult negotiations between the Taliban and the Afghan government. The U.S.-Taliban agreement seems to be clear on one thing, though, that's troop withdrawal, a promise that was central to Donald Trump's election campaign. The U.S. has agreed to reduce its troops from around 12,000 to 8,600 in 135 days. If the Taliban follows through on its, on its promises, all troops of America and its allies will leave the country within 14 months. Amid the chaos, the question now is whether Donald Trump will prioritize the withdrawal of the American troops before everything else. Such a plan would prove to be disastrous. An exit without a deal could lead to an escalation in fighting. Some experts even claim that it could lead to a new civil war. The Taliban reportedly controls well over 50% of Afghanistan. They could potentially seize control of the country if America just walks away. Any potential peace deal would include a comprehensive ceasefire. Without it, the fighting will spiral out of control. The Trump administration should resist the urge for an urgent withdrawal. Otherwise, its historic peace deal with the Taliban will fail to end the war in Afghanistan.